welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and DIY decor today I have a masquerade theme party centerpiece and setup here we go making a Swiss 16 slash quinceanera centerpiece so thank you for your patience <laughs> um, this theme is going to be masquerade which can be used for any birthday celebration so let's get started I'm going to start by turning my bowl over because I'm going to be gluing my paper towel holder right on top of it as so so I'm going to center it and this time, I am going to be using this Fix All um, Adhesive Glue from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to add some hot glue to the inner bars right here so it can keep the paper towel holder from moving while the rest of the glue dries. If you wonder why I'm placing a paper towel holder on top of this bowl, that's because I need it to support the balloon that I'm going to be placing right on top of the bowl. And I'm also going to be placing a bowl out, so after a while it's going to weigh it down and you don't want it to tip over or fall over after a while. So that's what it's there for. Next, I'm going to be using this cute foil numbers that uh, doesn't require any helium. I decided to use the number 16 for a Swiss 16. My daughter is going to be 16 <laughs> this week coming up, so uh, I thought it would be appropriate. Plus, I haven't done anything for teens in a while. So um, yeah, I fell in love with these and I am going to use them. This is very easy to put together. All you have to do is unwrap the foil number and then you are going to insert the straw that comes with it. There's like a little white piece of plastic right there if you can see that. And you are going to place the, uh, the straw right under it and you are going to push through until you get to the inside of the balloon. And there it is. And now all you have to do is blow into it and then you're going to pull the straw and it's going to self seal. And just pull it out. And that's it. Pretty easy. The number six is a little weird. At first I thought that <laughs> It was the letter J and I had to do a double take and I'm like, what's happening here? Did they give me the wrong thing? But once it blows up, this turns inwards and it looks like a number six. So don't panic like I did. Next, I'm going to be gluing my numbers together with my low temperature gun. Going to cut these two little pieces right here that has the little holes through it um, I guess these are for you to use in case you want to tie them down but I'm not gonna need these so I'm going to cut these and as far as these two I'm going to cut them down a little bit make sure not to cut too high because you don't want the air to come out now I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to the paper towel holder which is going to glue to the back of the balloon and therefore it can stand on its own. To decorate my centerpiece I'm going to be using a masquerade mask from Dollar Tree. This one is very very cute. For a dollar, it is very, very cute. <laughs> you can also find very nice ones at Party City or you can order some on Amazon as well. I'm going to cut off the ribbon that it came with. You use this to tie the mask on. I'm not gonna need it, so be gone. 
I'm going to switch back to my high temperature gun and I'm going to glue on my mask right over the bottom of my paper towel holder. So what you wanna do is basically cover this metal part right here. So it's going to go right on there like this. Very pretty. Very pretty so far. Look at that. Love it. All right, so here's the thing. If you're going to use this centerpiece for your dessert table, then you will move on to the next step, which is to add a boa, a nice purple boa, to the back of the number, all right? And you will arrange it in a way that it will look really, really cute. But if you are going to use this centerpiece on your table as your table centerpiece, then you will have to do the very same thing you did on the front on the back, okay? So let's do that. Now I'm going to arrange my boa, and this one is from Dollar Tree. And I actually got two, but you can use either one or two, or three or as many as you like. Uh, here is with one. Okay, so that's what one, and of course you gotta arrange it to your taste. Or you might just wanna put it to the side, look at that. That's cute on one side as well. And here it is with a second boa. Of course it's going to look fuller and more dramatic. And if this wasn't dramatic enough for you, I'm also going to be adding a push light and this is also from Dollar Tree. All right, so I'm just going to place it right underneath the bowl. All right guys, this is it. This is my Swig 16 Masquerade Party Centerpiece and it's absolutely fabulous. I love it. Of course I do. <laughs> you know why I love it? I love it because it is so cheap and it is so darn cute. Only 14 bucks. 14 bucks, the whole thing. And if you're going to use this for your dessert table, you're only going to spend half of that, seven bucks. And another good thing about this centerpiece is that you can use it for any birthday party. Your 21st, your 25th, your 30th, your 40th, your 50th, 60th, 70th, 80th, 90th, 100th. You can do this the same for 14 bucks. Well, except for the 100, then you have to spend another two bucks. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to do so right now. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of my centerpiece and leave me a comment anyway, because I love to chit chat with you guys all the time. And make sure to share, share, share. If you know of a friend or a family member who is having a Swiss 16 or a quinceanera or is having a party <laughs> and need theme ideas, make sure to share it with them on your social media page. All right, guys, until next time, bye.